another game. This one's called Death Must Die. And I guess you could call this an indie game showcase. Once again, gamers, check this one out. <laughs> I don't know what that intro was, but I, this seems cool. Uh, I think I got a key for this. And um, this reminds me a lot of Hades. Except I think there's a vampire survivor element, which is the new thing for everyone, obviously. I mean, I can't talk shit because I quite like this style of game these days. Many of you know Halls of Torment, I really like, which you'll see on the channel again. Hey, you're the one time gave their hourglass to, huh? See what I mean by Hades? Well, whatever it is you're doing here, I'm always the first to help mortals, so allow me to lend a hand. Oh, before you lend a hand, let me get a wonderful, delicious cup of coffee from today's spot. No, no, there's no sponsor. Be right back. This stream brought to you by Shitty Deli Coffee. Coffee's so bitter, you need milk and sugar to cut through it. Uh... Your attacks become stronger and apply burning. I'm kind of surprised this has only now been thought of as a concept, because this is, in retrospect, an, a very obvious... I mean, all the good ideas are the obvious ones, aren't they? Um, speaking hyperbolically, of course. But no, this is um, a cool concept. Uh, I like these kinds of games. But then having the Hades, like, voice acting and uh, characters that give you boons in between the leveling up, that makes, like, too much sense. Oh, I'm Summer, by the way. The goddess of all the hot stuff. Fires, volcanoes, you know it. Yeah. But, you know, I'm sorry, everyone. I like, I like these games. When you kill a number of burning enemies, an explosion damages and knocks back nearby enemies. So, um... But, you know, there's there's some that are just vampire survivors, and I need a little bit more. I need some unique angle. Because they're fun to a point. Even Halls of Torment, which I, I quite like, can still give me, like, I get, like, OD'd on it. I'm like, ugh, I think I need a break. Um, the other thing I was going to say is, this game came out in November of 2023 and has, I think it's something like 15,000 reviews at the moment on Steam, and I think it's overwhelmingly positive. Okay, so, oh, look at that, inventory. Okay. So a little Diabler going on in there, too. I, I like a little bit of Diabler. Meteors fall from the skies, damaging enemies and burning the ground. Oh, that's like a, again, Diabler. Okay. Maybe I should dash out of the way when this enemy shows up. And not get greedy with my hits. Chaos would love this. Oh, if only they could see it. <laughs> chaos? I need to kill Chaos. It looks like this game is giving you a little bit more to do than some of the other ones, at least. And it's not just, um... The reason Vampire Survivors hit so hard is how accessible it is, and, let's be real, gambling mechanics? Not with real money. You know, that and also because the game was dirt cheap. Which I think this game, let's find out how much this is, because... You know, I'm not a professional reviewer, but I, I like to apply some analysis to these things. This is seven bucks. So, we'll find out if that's fair. At the moment... I do feel like the production value is here for seven dollars. Oh. 
New enemies. Yeah, I think... I don't know if I bought this one. Maybe it was on sale, or... I don't know. I don't remember. Burning enemies leave a fire where they die. It seems... It seems good for crowd control. Those giant shield enemies remind me of the shield enemies from Chrono Trigger in, in the prison area. Everything reminds me of Chrono Trigger. But is that such a bad thing? Uh, I'm looking for a health pickup. Okay, there's some kind of flames that have enclosed this in into an arena. I don't know what's going on here. Oh my god! Oh my god! The drops aren't too frequent that you're spending a ton of time in your inventory constantly, so that's good. That arena was closing, like, just a little bit each time. I didn't even see that. Just want the meteors to take care of my foes, and I, I don't want to... Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is the health? Man, where is the health? I don't even know if there's an XP suck in this game. There, there has to be, right? Every one of these games needs an XP suck. So, something here, something, something here. Plus 9% pickups. I need health. It's just, we're just amassing more and more enemies that I am not killing. Ooh. Man, well, I mean, that was that was the first run. Game really just drops you into the thick of combat. It's it's Hades. Unique rare. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay, this is nice. Infinite dashes within this underworld. Our hourglass has brought you back. Step into the water once more, hero. We cannot follow you, but soon others will come to your aid. 
death will stand trial for his transgressions. Yeah. Yeah, kill death. Yeah. Guess we're going back in. I would imagine there's some form of permanent progression aside from just... Uh, the entrance to the underworld on the highest peak. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's, there's some kind of progression I haven't unlocked yet, but these games definitely do. I think more than a lot of roguelites, the, these types of games need that progression to keep you coming back. Oh, it's just this way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you actually attack- you move slower when you're auto-attacking. I didn't realize that. That might have saved me earlier if I realized what was happening there. Much easier to just attack manually. Not not easier, rather, but more efficient. Hero, I task you with defeating death. <laughs> For this, I reward you with my powers. <laughs> now, oh. Uh, Hades. Um. Enemies hit by your attacks shoot out rupturing shurikens. I wonder if that Dead God game would have been more successful if it didn't release right next to Hades. Because it did so many similar things. It, it, you know, it wasn't quite as endearing as Hades because it didn't have the same... Oh, there's a health. You gotta kill enemies for health. It didn't have the same... charm. What kind of legend would it be without some fire and mayhem? Well, we're gonna be getting... I, I, Spell damage is increased. Now, in Hades, you get lore. You also get, like, personality moments that aren't just strictly lore. So I wonder how they're gonna keep things fresh every time you level up. If... at all. Oh, that was my corpse. That's great. It's not my corpse, my corpse, my corpse, my corpse, my corpse, my corpse, my corpse. Gauntlets of luck. They pull in shards. There are little... Oops. There are little things on the radar that I didn't see last time because I wasn't looking at the radar for some reason. Your spell damage is increased yet again. I mean, that's general enough that I think it means the shurikens also do more damage. So this is a fire. Reminds you of home max life. Also, called me, call me old-fashioned, but I really enjoy a game where a knight is killing skeletons. I don't sometimes need much more than that. Some, many times I do, but sometimes I'm fine with a dude in armor with a sword and a shield, 
attacking skeletons. None of that health was dropping in run number one, which makes me think it was almost intentional. Maybe. Like, just to get you to restart the run quicker? I, maybe not. Or maybe I just was tremendously unlucky. The progression, I think, are the items you get, actually. Maybe there's more in, in the hub area, but at the moment, it looks like the thing that you get that continuously travels with you are the items, which would be an interesting change. Yeah, just like Diablo, there's just a bunch of random things on the map, and you can go to them sometimes for healing, sometimes for, you know, Stuff like this. Movement speed. I like that. You've been enlisting a lot of help from the others, haven't you? She listens to my I bet he wouldn't romance. expect his own tools against him, though. Mind if I join? Not that there's yeah, anything wrong with that. Death's daughter. But I'd really like to see him defeated, nonetheless. Personal reasons. Sickles of Mort. Your attack hits have a chance to spawn phantoms. Any enemies they pass through become cursed and lose a percentage of their current life. Or every for atta a few attacks, you shoot out sickles. I'm gonna do. I wanna shoot ghosts. I want them in the living room. Another powerful sword. Still have a better one. Oh my god! Dash out the way, motherfucker! Oh! One life and 16 armor and 210 shard pull. Need a sickle to face the scythe? They're more efficient anyway. Mort. Morty, Morty! When an enemy dies from cursed, gain permanent damage. Or you are lucky. I'm gonna go for luck. Luck is good in a game like this, especially early. Morty, you gotta eat shit! That's the only way, Morty, eat shit! Oh, uh, I don't know, Rick! I don't, I don't want to eat shit! No, Morty, it's fine, I'm a banana! I'm a banana, I'm banana, Rick! That's basically every season since season three. No, there's more complex storylines than that. I've seen. There's one where they eat. I'm Spaghetti Rick! There's that one. There's the one where he turns. I'm a carburetor, Morty! I'm a carburetor! I'm carburetor Rick! There's that one. Get shurikens level two since those have been proven to be quite useful. Okay. enemies get killed pretty pretty nicely now. Spell damage is increased again. 
I mean, that's just a catch-all for everything gets like a boost, I guess. Oh. Hits of damage there. Oh! Nine armor. Two movement speed. The Fates figures observe you as if alive. They already know your choice here. Neither of them will get offended. Or anything, right? Um, gain rerolls. Poor twist shell. Worse armor. Oh, not good. Not good. I've died to about that. Up, 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 up. Fire? Who's this? Fire person? I did not expect a living guardian at the gates. P. Did they just do the tongue out? Uh, emote? Uh, 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 ASCII? What? Oh, that's what she does. Okay. That's her thing. <laughs> okay. How does she do that actually speaking in real life? That's fun. You want me to go down there with the hourglass? Only one can wield it. Good luck. I'll try a new character. Why not? So far, I'm I'm into this more or less. Like little things could be maybe a little bit better, I suppose. But overall, this is this is working for me. And I'm hoping. To find more mechanics, like a shop and other things, too. Range plus AOS. Oh, A... A... -O huh? A... What is it? AOS? Wait, area of attack? Wait, AOT? Shrine of music. Gain 600 pull area. Or... Experience person. I'm gonna get the pull area. Nice at a shrines to find us, eh, Luigi? Found some items. Powerful rod. Oh, the greaves can't be equipped on this character. The Reaper does not listen to the harvest. So, maybe it's high time he started. Spawn ravens that attack enemies. As a bird person. This is good. Okay, so auto attack actually makes this a whole lot easier. You just have to know when to turn it off. Because uh, otherwise you're going to be moving very slowly. But it, aiming with this with a controller is not great. But if you use auto attack, it auto aims. Make them feel the heat. Those of them that can, anyway. Okay. Spell damage increase for this character seems good. Fuck them up, birds. More shark pull. with courage. Let's see if you're worth more than the dirt you tread on.
Your attack shoots more projectiles. Oh, nice! That's fucking phenomenal for this character. lead that skeleton. Evasion, luck, and shard pull. Better gloves. That's why this video sponsor is bettergloves.cock. Have you wanted the best coin gloves? Perhaps you just want vegetable gloves. Any kind of glove for any occasion, you can get at dollargloveclock.cock. That's right. And if you enter promo code GLOVE, you can get yourself a pair of Free love gloves. Mm-hmm. What are love gloves? You guessed it. They go in. I have a created bird. I do hope this game has like uh, a pull all. Kind of thing flare. So this is when enemies start attacking you, they can you can shoot a flare at them. Probably should have saved that well, right? Oh, there it is. There it is. Attack damage. Summon damage. That's good for what I'm doing now. But, uh... It doesn't have the Diablo... You know, tells you what stats Why are better are instantly. Do we which, need a reason to set things on fire now, too? I'm, I'm also a little lazy these days, so... Burning enemies leave a fire where, where they die. That's just... You know... We need to make them burn now. Because I don't... Uh, but it's, if it's blue, I want to choose it, you know. Even if it means I have to upgrade something later to get to it, that just is a good thing to do. Gain armor, gain attack damage. I want attack damage, even though armor is probably going to be much more useful. This is like, these slimes coming at me are like, what happened on Twitch. Just a bunch of slimes coming at me, ready to get me banned on Twitch again. You raise skeletons when you kill a number of enemies. Skeletons raised from cursed enemies last longer. That is a very sizable army of skeletons. Your dash drains enemies healing you if your life if you're below a certain life threshold. God damn it. That's too good. That's just too good.
Go my army of skeletons. Kill the xenomorph. feel no harm can come to you. I'm sure some harm can come to me, but less. more damage to enemy barriers. I want to reroll for fire. Is there no fire? No, because this is Krom. It, it doesn't reroll the uh, the god. Yeah, that's a problem. game is somewhat generous at showing you where enemies intend to attack, at least. Flare Adept to Expert. Oh, we need the fire thing. We need the fire thing. Okay, gauntlets. Uh, I can't wear those. That's fine. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. Deal more damage to enemy barriers. Chains of war. I want something different. Oh, that's interesting. Powerful staff of reach. Attack range and damage. Sounds good. Good luck. Skeletons, please. The, the chains are good if you're surrounded. Phew! Oh. experience one, which means my pull range is less, but I feel like that might be worth it. What oh, got me? Ah! Oh. Season's greetings? Still Christmas? <laughs> no, Christmas is over. Stop. I don't want to be reminded of Christmas. Kill 500 skeletons with Averon. Six thousand skeletons. Okay, so those are like achievos.
righteousness, yes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it snows, watch. Oh. Your attacks have a chance to apply frozen. Oh god. Fuck. It's frozen. <laughs> Shit. Oh god, look at yourself. Fucking hell, you, 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 you. Shit. It's the coffee's fault. Yeah, frozen, yeah. Fuck you, frozen, yeah. have seated on your own balls. You have seated on your balls. Hey, okay, well, we found the progression. Campfire here. And they have different, like, aspects, I guess. We'll go to Avaron again. I want to try Avaron with some of the new items. Eighty movement. Speed. That's incredible. I can't believe this game just gave me stuff like this good. It seems like insanely good. Yeah, it's pretty fucking good. That'll help. That'll definitely help. Man, even when attacking. Huge movement. Never cross me. Won't. I don't know if knockback is the best for a melee user because you, you want them to, to be in range so you can keep attacking them. I'm just not sure. But the extra attack damage there just is too good. Love that movement speed. That. That's gonna be hard the to go back from. Stopping bite of frost, the captivating embrace of cold. I am winter, and I've come to enchant this bitter place with my beauty. There's seasons. Um, your dash throws ice shards that deal damage. Applies chills every few attacks of frost ring spawns that freezes. You leave a trail of frost wherever you go that chills enemies. I'll go for the attack. Yeah, it's going to be real hard to not have this movement speed. So it looks like I'm wearing Christmas stockings for the... for this character every time I play. The Lusty or What? The Lusty Orc Handyman. Three of three. Unclogging the chimney. This chimney hasn't been cleaned in, cleaned in ages. It's completely blocked. Oh, I've got just the tool for that. It'll be wide open. It's long... It's a long and dirty job. No worries, ma'am. I'm not afraid to get dirty. This game is filthy. The 
fucking living, man. Yeah, that's what's happening in that book. The fucking living. The path to victory is littered with the fallen. What is going on with this game tonally? I don't know what, what it is anymore. Uh, I got a belt. It's a shitty one. But... This is the only one I have, so I love it. Some pleasing bone noises. At the very least. Not every game has the most pleasing of bone noises. This one is doing a good job at that. That dash attack is pretty good. For I've come to guide you in your plight. Immobilized enemies take more damage. Good for bosses. My gifts are far cooler than those of winter. But together you are more powerful, even. Love this movement speed, my god. I'm using spells as much as I think I am. Uh, so that's a problem. Probably shouldn't be leveling up spells as much as I am. I mean, I have that one. I think... Whoa, what have I done? I think I, I have a... Uh, spell... Icebound is a spell. This is a spell. That's a spell. There's... Yeah, I've got some spells. The dash counts as a spell, and it, it is just ripping enemies to shreds. Breath of Fire. Um... I want the... Yeah, that one is good, because that'll... That'll be just charged up by that spell damage increase.
Oh yeah. No, I will defeat you easily because if you're frozen, you take a lot of damage. Burning enemies leave a fire when they die. Again, useful for chain reactions. It's a song of ice and fire now. Um, we'll need health, though. Hopefully we can find something that can uh, help with that. Gifted by Winter herself, so you intend to siege rather than fight openly? Cowardice. Let me show you how a real warrior does it. They got drama. Charge goes from novice to adept. It sounds like every now and then it sounds like someone opening a can of soda. Right there. What was that? The soda noises. There we go, there we go, there we go. Charge. What did I just get? I got something blue. I can't use those. Alright, never mind. Kind of scary that the arena closes in on you as you're trying to do that. Rotating blades spawn away from you, rupturing and damaging enemies along the way. That sounds... that sounds just fine, thank you. I tried to dodge out of the way of that... that blade, kind of. Because I wasn't... I wasn't used to it existing yet. Become stunned for 1.5 seconds, but gain spell duration. It's easy enough. Ow, my bones. The skeleton just told me to chill. Listen, I kind of like that the game has a sense of humor. It's not taking itself too seriously. It's fine. It's very much not taking itself seriously. Better belt. Luckier. the darkness and gain more heals.
gain less adept offers, less expert offers, but more master offers. I, I want to see if that works. That's not probably... I'm probably going to die before that happens, but we'll give it a shot. Ooh, better gloves. Very nice gloves. Never mind, it's the same fucking gloves. This one's just got one banish dice, but this one's got more pull, and that's it. That's fine. We'll just stick with that. I am once again asking for healing game. Ooh. Shrine wore off. I was dead. Why? I've always helped out mortals. Who do you think gave them fire? I don't know. Lightning? <laughs> Bambigo! Bambigo! I'm fine. I like to invent words. It's fine. Well. Sign of the hero unlocked. Well... Ha oh, ha... Oh, plus more master offers. It's cheap. Let's grab it real quick. Sell some crap. That's a better breastplate that I did not know I had. Give you a little library for all your books. I like video game names for uh, Christmas and video games. When you take Sign of the Chosen One. When you take damage, you become invulnerable for three seconds. The effect can occur more than once every ten seconds. Or you gain 17 attack damage every three levels. I'm going to get the invulnerable one. Let's do one more. Maybe one more. Maybe there will be more. I don't know. Might just take a quick break in between. Can't get master or legendary boon offers. All skills offered are expert. I'm gonna get the less pull area for more experience. That's a, I think, a good thing to start with. Those first levels pretty quickly. Eight percent critical chance. Your attacks have a 13% chance to recharge a dash. Gain movement speed. Let's go for a fast run. Even faster than you usual. You know my purpose? To hell with you. A mortal who begs the gods is no more than a worm below their feet. Are you okay, Krom? I would have got that recharge for dash if I knew I was going to get that move. Okay, 
cover the pull area that I lost. I love your persistence. Thanks. Uh, burning. It's kind of an easy one to pick. Not one you have to think about too much. Game feels pretty well balanced. Like, that could kill a game like this, too. But I, I like the challenge of it, and it doesn't feel too unfair. And it feels like if you just keep... I mean, there's some skill involved here with, like, dashing, as opposed to just kind of taking, like, tanking the hits to the face. But, um, even so, like, it just feels like you can get better at it as well as get luckier at it. I'm going for a heavy dash build right now. Anything that could increase dash recharge or add more dashes, I'm, I'm going to be going for. Oh, get fucking destroyed, idiot. You first, of course. She just can't stop meddling in mortals' affairs. Well, for once, she's not the lone fox on this. Leave a trail of frost wherever you go that chills enemies. Chill. Well, we're going to be doing a lot of movement, so this seems good. A lot of uh, New Year's Eve movement. Not seeing enough movement. It's funny when things... Like, st stupid things from the internet... Go outside of internet. And people are just like, WHAT?! Like when Ninja was hosting New Year's Eve. And people were just like, who? Why? What is it? Dancing? Oh. At least that was, you know, my perspective of it. Maybe there were people who loved it. But he didn't see enough movement. my dash into a nuke. Kind of. <laughs> oh, we didn't get a voice line for that one. Okay. It's still- wow. I am still getting dash upgrades. God, I really regret not picking that dash upgrade. No. Well. These slimes aren't going to last particularly long, I don't think. This should be an easy section. And then they go to chill as well. When my Beautiful. time comes, life shivers and hides. How can the living appreciate my beauty? with his scythe above them. Great value, uh, Hades characters. But they're, they're fun. They're really fun. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, there's a higher chance that things drop an item if I kill them now when they're chilled. That seems quite nice. I'm still taking some slime damage, which is unfortunate, but, uh... Yeah. Okay, need help. Game heard me. Thanks, game. So much for this life. Seems like you'd never really walk too far without there being some kind of thing that can uh, help you around the corner. Yeah, I'm going for the, the dash nuke even further. I mean, it is just that good. It's like two dashes can kill even those big armored dudes. Crazy. just a little bit more healing possible. So we got a boss coming up. Never mind. Charge. Oh man, look at that damage increase. Fucking hell. Powerful serpent sort of ignoring. Bunch of damage. Shard pull, passive experience gain per second. Reroll dice, alteration dice. That's a pretty good item. In my estimation. Path of Frost increase, or... Yeah, we'll, we'll get the Path of Frost. I could have re-rolled, actually, but you know what? I haven't... I forgot about re-roll several times in a row. Fifty-five armor. This has got less armor. I don't know if I want to use that. I like the armor that I have at the moment. So yeah, this dash is capable of doing some intense damage now. Test virtues? You are deemed virtuous? What? Uh, spell damage is increased? Sure. Nervous about my health, as I should be.
gain more adept offers or more heals. I'm gonna go for more heals because we need those at the moment. I don't know if we're gonna get them. Yes, we got them. No, that's peace of mind. I don't know what that does. Shit skeleton. He heals. Oh, I got some heals. I don't know where I got them from, but thanks. Gain attack damage for each immobilized enemy. That seems pretty good. That said, even just, like, going around like this and finding random shit is so... so good. It's really good. Find all this crap. Spell areas increased. Immobilized enemies take more damage. Just dash nuking my way through. Dash. <laughs> um. Damage versus barriers. Need more gold? Why would you ignore that? Oh, maybe that's uh, if you're not virtuous enough or something. Cracking open some cold ones. The Necromancer's Journal. Okay. Lore. And it's it's fun lore. It's not overly serious, but I think it's it's kinda cool. You just pick up random books. <laughs> they have little stories in them. May as well get the chain, right? Since I'm, like, short range anyway. I don't know if we've hit critical mass, but it's starting to feel like we got a good run going, finally.
We're good. Oh man, these chains are awesome. Fucking hell. Okay. Deal more damage to enemy barriers. Your attack speed for each ruptured enemy. That sounds good. So we're gonna be rupturing a lot. healing in there, which was great. The dash nuke was such a good idea. enemies, leave a fire where they die, so there's just gonna be fire all over the map, very good. More combust, sure. If I could increase the number of ways we can burn enemies, that would also be quite good. Peace of mind, I think, is just slow regeneration, I think. Heals the necromancer. Oh shit, the necromancer. Stuck on the ice. Oh, what a great build this is. Holy shit. The everlasting thrill of battle. Decent items, too, I think. Nope. We don't want those. I mean, some stuff for maybe other characters, but... I still have my, my speed boot, which I cannot get rid of because they're too good. Heart is corrupt. Oh, come on! No! <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I guess it's just what you choose from various other places. Like, um, statues and stuff. The Baron's Journal. Unique Mythic. Son, drop those rares, son. I get frost ring for additional frosting. Because we do a lot of damage if enemies are frosted.
try not to get too overconfident here because, you know, confidence, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer and all that. And also, I'm still very much capable of taking some big damage, as you've just seen. Ooh, these guys. Speaking of big damage, run is about to end. Damn. Overconfidence. Slow and insidious kill. Who TF are you? <laughs> I meant what are you? What? What? This. Okay. This character speaks in like text message. Who to F are you? Got this character can wear the hat. 12% more master offers. Ooh. Somewhat decent starting equipment. You have seated on your own balls. You have seated on your balls, Mr. Cringe. It's the coffee's fault. it's all the same level for a while. I mean, there might be more levels available, I'm not sure. It's gonna be weird getting used to not having dashes that attack. Blazing. character is also, of course, not going to be as fast. So, I'm just hoping we get them master offers soon. I wonder if the every few hits you shoot fire would have been better warmer. for this character. because of the, the multi-hit. Need a light. Oh, we're getting a lot of fire, okay. Oh, got it now. Are 
Give me that experience, yeah. War never changes. You can't just say that. He's right though, you know. I kind of like those chains of war, they... For a melee character, they really help. You, you, like, have to get in there anyway, so you may as well do some extra damage while doing so. Easy. Hmm. Sickles of Mort. I want to see the Sickles of Mort now. Those are sickles, all right. Would you look at that? Even more luck. I think those are just permanent upgrades for your run. Your heart is corrupt? No. Why, though? You would allow this snake to slither into your ear and accept her favor? The daughter of death herself, vying for his position. Ha! Let's see who conquers the throne of skulls in the aftermath, woman. You can attack speed for each ruptured enemy. Let's do that. Have that four for a little bit. It works. I didn't have a lot I hadn't picked up. Just a couple. Slime time. It's the last thing I said before I got banned on Twitch. Easy jokes forever now. Really. I mean, at the end of the day, it just makes for a funny story. Ooh, we got a... Hell yeah. Oh, that's so good. I could just wiggle the control stick. Now isn't this cure? Who the fuck are you? You are so intertwined with time itself that it's really hard to get a read on your fate, hero. Will you fail? Or succeed? Or maybe it'll be one of the others. Oh, sorry. They haven't arrived for you yet. Oh, but it would be a shame to see you fail. Perhaps we could... fudge the numbers a little? Your attacks have a chance to deal 300% damage. Your dashes become longer. Probably, I don't even know if the dash was the best choice. I just figure because I'm using fire dashes, eh, the critical hits would have probably been better. In retro Shrek. Just 
struggling some more. We're struggling here a little bit. We're struggling. Hi again. It's time yet again to find healing. died once. Wait, you can die once? Maybe this character you can? Uh, Phantoms, whenever you kill an enemy, there's a chance it spawns a weak experience shard. Cursed enemies have a higher chance of dropping experience shards. That happened quick. Okay. Alrighty. Twenty percent more adept offers. But yeah, it was One more, one more run. Game is good. Game is addictive and fun. This character definitely takes a little bit of damage though. No experience for 60 seconds, gain 13% experience after. Y yeah. Now's the time for that. Chest opens. Gain the item, trigger a trap. Yeah. Oh, I'm on fire. 5% oh. chance to heal one life on kill. That's great. Attack damage, shorter enemy barriers, passive experience gain. Extra attack speed. I like all these, like, varied shrines. In uh -huh. armor. I'm still not gaining experience. It's gonna be a little bit longer. Minus 3% dash cooldown. 
15, 15 max life. I like the max life for this character. We're gaining experience now. Okay, so now I have a 13% experience gain for the rest of this run. So that, that's pretty Lagong, good. Lagong, God of Lightning, at your service. Ah. Strange. This opening usually shocks mortals at least a little. Who's gonna want to fuck all these gods? Everyone is gonna have a whole fan base of people. The big look wants to fuck lightning, please. Never mind. That's quite like me, actually. No one can predict a lightning bolt. That's a big part of the game these days. You gotta make horny shit. <laughs> Your attacks have a chance to cause a chain lightning. Sounds good. Death three. Oh, there's a haste to build. I didn't even read that. I should read that next time. That sounds good. Um, the level ups are happening swiftly. Okay, that's a well. Might need that later. Drop more experience, fuckers. Ah. Uh. So pitiful amount of enemies. You just you just move faster. I, I might want to wait for that to become better. Do some healing. option. Alright, uh... Attack speed for each ruptured enemy. That's good. Still like that, but... We're not doing enough rupturing. Chain lightning. Wow. Good.
Okay. When you kill a frozen or chill immune enemy, there is a higher chance to drop an item. Good for that one. Wondrous Obsidian. Plus 4% more new skill offers. I mean, this is a perfect game for a podcast. Like, if you're just watching this and, um, you know, you're expecting some insightful commentary. Brain empty at the moment. But this is a great game to just chill and listen to music or put on like a podcast or a video. I mean, most of these games are, let's be honest. But, you know, this works doubly so for me for that kind of thing. There's just enough going on to keep you engaged. But it still simplifies a lot of other shit. To me, this is a good balance of bullet heaven, vampire survivory kind of shit versus a, like a you know an action Men RPG. And gods bow before me, but no need from you, hero. Whenever you traverse a certain distance, lightning bolts fall onto nearby enemies. Chain lightning is doing pretty all right for me. Llama statue. Pay respect. Healing very badly, so it's, it's good. Ooh, wait, what, what happened? dead. I think I still have a one-up, so to speak. Or revive or whatever. I think. I'm not sure if that's just an innate feature the character has. Uh, you gain attack speed for each ruptured enemy. Now is, now is the time for that, isn't it? It's a shame this mask is kind of cool, but I already have a way better Santa hat is a sentence you would never uh, expect to hear anywhere, ever, but there it is. Fucking nothing. Yep, died. This character just takes so much damage.
gain another revival. I'll take it. I was hoping we would see like a master spell by now or something, but it hasn't happened yet. It's a relatively low chance still, so I, you know, I get it. Yeah. Would be nice. Try to reroll for something. I don't have any rerolls. Never mind. New item, more adept offers. Fuck off, enemy? Can you fuck off? Whoa! You doing all right there, mortal? I think you could really use some of my godly aid. Wouldn't you agree? That's my nipples, I mean. Nipples. That's right, that's what godly aid means. I don't know if this is based on, like, Greek mythology, which is to say every, every god is just horny all the time. Just like humans! I guess that's Hades. Ignoring Pawn of Feast. 4% chance to heal one life on kill. Alteration dice. Pick oh, that's good. Just a pawn from chess. That's cool, I guess. My favorite video game character is Pawn from chess. Maybe Bishop, I'm not sure. Rook? All really well-developed characters. Oh, adept to expert. When you kill a frozen enemy, higher chance of item drops. That's not really gonna help me kill enemies, but, you know, item drops are nice. I love this unimpeded one. Hell yeah, 100 damage. What extra. is it? I don't know. Your spell speeds and cooldowns are faster. That attack speed is insane. We didn't introduce ourselves last time. Where the fates? Clo, the sleepy one, spins the strings of life. Lachi measures them and all that boring stuff. While I, Isa, snip snip with the scissors when the time comes. I have the most fun job. 
It does get tiring to see them all go, though. Always, forever, and ever. But maybe you'll put an end to that, who knows? Your attacks have a chance to deal 300% damage. Yeah. Considering my attack speed, that sounds... That sounds good. Oh! This is insane, by the way, what's happening right now. It's, it's really kind of cool. Yeah. Ooh. God, they hit hard. And they're fast. There we go. There we go. You move faster. 32% faster. I'm, I'm cool with that. I left an item or something down there. Oops. I left the treasure chest down there. Wow. Okay, I guess we're moving real quick. Necromancer time. Oh, I died again. I mean, you just get blasted with fire, uh, so, you know, that's not good. You gotta pay attention to the, the Necromancer's, uh, ooh, uh attack, uh, charge. Fuck. Get some stuff, more skill rarity upgrades. Breastplate. Okay. Desperately need to find health. Nothing. Love finding nothing. Give healing now, please.
you are deemed virtuous. I don't know what that does. Tried to attack it. Failed. Okay, well. I unlocked some stuff. Magical amulet of, of, of ignoring. It's going to get rid of the shittier things. Couple of the shittier things. Yep, there you go. Items are getting expensive. Okay, so that'll be... I think that'll be that for this game. Uh, I'm gonna get going. You deal 500% more damage, striking enemies below 20% life. I'm just curious about something before I get going, actually. I just don't know why she speaks in text message. No, 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 not looking down again. <laughs> no punctuation. Again, it doesn't... The game does not take itself too seriously, and I'm fine with that, but... It's just kind of funny. Hi, I'm Averon K. So this is Death Must Die. I enjoyed my time with it. It's surprisingly good. Uh, of these types of games, it has risen to the top for me, like close to the top. I don't know if it's the best one, but it's it's a good combo of Hades and Vampire Survivors, and I would I would recommend checking it out if it you know seven bucks or it goes on sale. If you're into this sort of thing, I don't know if that you know if it'll win you over necessarily, but. It's pretty good for this type of game and for like America's Choice uh, Hades. Not bad. So anyway, thank you for watching this and uh, hope hope you enjoyed seeing my exploits in game. And I hope hope you all have a great day.